I'm Kevin from Smoking Gachos, and today we're here for Hunter's Element Killed a Grill. I'm going to be cooking three dishes today, a roast pork leg from a wild sow, a rack of ribs with cutlets on from a nanny, and I'm going to be doing a charred green veg on a white bean puree. So here we have a leg from wild sour. Gonna add a little bit of olive oil, not too much, just a drizzle. Just smear it all over it. Now we're gonna cover it in some beautiful Olsen salt flakes. Just be really generous with the salt. And now we're gonna pop this in the wood fire oven. We'll just place the pork leg in the oven with the fat aside towards the heat. Beautiful, we have a few hours to go. And now we're going to prepare some veg that's going to go with the roast leg. Start off with some potatoes. Some carrots. Could be pretty chunky. A lemon. Straight out of the garden. Some garlic. Plenty of garlic. Some onion. Similar to the size of the potatoes. And then we've got a mixture of fresh garden herbs. So we've got some oregano, we've got some thyme, we've got some rosemary, just some really nice aromatics. We've even got some um, bay leaf, and that's all going to go in around the pork leg to serve us some really nice aromatics. All right, so as the pork leg is roasting away in the wood fire oven, I've had a little bit of a change of plans, and I think I'm going to prepare this really nice rack of goat a little bit differently. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to string it up and I'm gonna hang it and let it smoke for the next few hours and then I'm gonna finish it off in a Solar Techniques pan. So to start off, I'm just going to get a bit of string just so we've got something to hang it with. Just try and even it out as much as possible. Probably coming a little bit too far on this side, but that's okay. Here we go, that's all we need to do. Beautiful. Going to trim off the excess pieces. Don't want to get rid of too much of the fat. Fat is flavour. It's nice and dry. And we're going to coat the rack with a little bit of salt, onion powder and pepper. Give it a nice even coating. Pat it down. Really simple flavours, but add a little bit of smoke. It's just going to taste great. Manny rack is ready for the fire. The oven's a bit hot, so we're just going to cover the pork leg in a bit of foil. And I'm going to hang this nanny rack just over the fire. And what I'm trying to do here is get it to a height where it can just hang, capture a lot of that smoke, let some of the fat strip back into the fire and vaporize. Got a nice little bit of coals going here and we're just gonna slowly bring this up to temperature. So now we're going to take out the pork leg and check it out. Remove the foil. Now we add some aromatics from the garden some rosemary, thyme, oregano, bay leaves, lemon, and just a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil on the potatoes. Tuck in some garlic, mixing up the veg a bit, add the rest of the potatoes. Now, put the leg straight back in the oven. So we have the leg of pork roasting away. And while we do that, we're gonna make a really nice rich sauce to go with it. So we're gonna start off by melting some butter. I'm a nice buttery base to this sauce. Then we're gonna add some mustard just some dijon in this instance give it a stir i'm going to put in some homemade capers just chopped up a little bit i prefer them a bit chopped just to bring the flavor out instead of just leaving them whole we're going to add half a cup of stock and a little splash of balsamic vinegar and you can use worcestershire sauce or any alternative but that vinegary um, splash will go really nice with this and we just keep stirring it, low heat. We want it to thicken up a little bit. Okay, so I've just got the uh, pork leg resting in some foil now. So I've just wrapped it up. Just gonna check on the veg and give them a little bit of a stir, a little bit of a shake. All right, we're gonna check these veg and see how they're going. Oh, look at that. Okay, this um, sauce is ready to go. Give it a final stir. And then we're just going to pour it into a serving dish. Just got some corn on, straight over the fire there, inside the husk. I find if you leave the corn in the husk, it just steams the corn beautifully and cooks it to perfection. Okay, we're also going to make a really nice side dish. Some charred greens and some 
white bean puree. So here we've got some white beans with some sumac and some lemon, and then we have some parboiled veg, uh, which is going to be charred over the coals. So we're just going to char off some of this veg. We've got some snow peas, some beans, and some broccoli, and just char that straight over the fire. Now we're just gonna toast off some pine nuts. Let's sprinkle them all over the top. Okay, so we've got the Solar Technics pan getting up to heat and we're just gonna get ready to finish off these, this rack. We wanna get that nice and hot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the rack of ribs off. You see they smoked beautifully. And we're gonna put it straight down into the hot pan of butter. Just make sure you let your goat rest before slicing. And there we have it, a wild sour roast pork leg with a rack of goat served with some roast veggies and a really nice side dish of some charred veg and corn.